Hello fellow MCU fans, welcome to Mr. Two Views. Um today I'm reviewing Spider-Man Far From Home. Um this movie is set eight months after uh, uh Endgame. Um for some reason young people are calling uh, like the the moment they uh, the comments were the dozen came black uh, blipping. I think the snap would have it was a bit better, but whatever. And uh, Peter and his uh, classmates are going on a scientific European school trip. I know, and uh, Peter just has this plan of romancing MJ while uh, Ned was uh, thinking. They could be uh, like ambassadors uh, in Europe. Um, Pierce still a little bit, still grieving a little bit about uh, Tony's passing, and, and especially since he's just feeling overwhelmed with responsibility when people are asking who's gonna be the next Iron Man. Um, the, there's this part when Pierce tried to get. Uh, MJ to sit next to him, or Ned tries to do it, or just ask Ned to do it. And this goes wrong, and when they just go off the plane, then you know, Ned got a girlfriend. And in the end, they just break up. Yeah. Um, somewhere along the way, uh, Nick Fury actually uh, hijacks the trip and introduces uh, Spider Man to uh, Quentin. Beck and the kids are called Mysterio because right now there's so many more or elemental like creatures going around uh, Europe and uh, Peter wanted anything to do with it and says it for you when they uh, try to get him to go to Prague that he uh, can't really do with his uh, where his friends safety and if uh, anyway friends always see great then the then uh, his friends be in danger and Fury lets him go but somehow gets to school trip to go to Prague yeah very and there's just a con a bit when I'm sure I tell uh, Peter the information about the uh, elemental creatures and Somebody keeps knocking on Pierre's door, see if he's okay, or see if Ned's okay, since uh, Fury uh, knocked out with a trank dart. And if I, if I got footage that when uh, somebody uh, else knocked, uh, Fury's like, if that's somebody else knocking, we're gonna go to another funeral. <laughs> Gary is just funny when he's being trapped in some, some reason. Um, the Spider-Man just bond a little with Mysterio, but yeah, spoilers, but probably not that big with spoiler. Mysterio it was a just said uh, faking be a hero, being a hero. He is rightly a villain, and uh, Spider-Man actually gives him these uh, glasses that Tony gave him, who which uh, has this uh, new AI called a. Ina, I think, you know. I don't know why I didn't bring out the AI from the last one, but. Hmm. Um, turned out that Beck was involved with the holographic get therapy thing that Tony put together in Infinity War. Um, one of the guys in the Beck's group was uh, a guy that Odai Stain yelled at in the Iron Man when he said he couldn't uh, build a smaller version of the. Uh, uh, arc reactor. Mm. I think it's a little bit convenient. And Spider-Man just gets yelled by Fury when that gave any do much to stop the fire and mental. And he has a new uh, black costume and people start calling him a uh, shadow monkey. Or Night Monkey, I forget which. I forget which. Oh, yeah, they actually uses the uh, uh, Hedna to 
try and delete this picture that has this guy called Beck or something. Let's call it Mary Jane since he thinks that the woman that was given that Peter the, the new costume that Peter says that got do so fit. I'm talking he I like that M Z as well. Yeah, I guess he that needs some uh, a drone to destroy his friends by mistake. Yeah. Uh, like in the uh, fire from oh, like, like from a uh, Hong Kong here needs to decide his uh, priorities, whether must be hero or a uh, normal normal Peter or something. Oh yeah, and uh, Happy Hogan Satan uh, Peter's aunt. Yeah, baseball is that. And he has a beard. And when Peter does find out that uh, Mysterio was a fake time to him and Mary Zane, or MJ, I find one of his uh, hollow cubes. Yeah. Um, Mysterio just puts uh, Peter into this uh, holographic nightmare, and at the end, he gets a uh, Gets uh, run over by a train in, in the, the Netherlands. Yeah, the same strange nights, like they're Canadian or something. Uh, I don't know. Um, thanks to a pep talk from a uh, happy and far now where his uh, friends are since uh, Mysterio uses the horror technology to fake being the Fury Tornado who, uh, who Spartan told the information about. Can be a fake too. And he needs a new suit. I don't know the plane he's on. Has like a thing to make a new suit. And I kind of like the look that Happy gives uh, Peter. Like he just says, seeing the uh, Tony again. Let's play the ACDC talk song and Peter teams Metallica. <laughs> oh yeah, and MJ knows that. Uh, Peter is uh, Spider Man. Yeah. See, smart. Um, there's a big fight with uh, Peter trying to uh, separate the drones to stop the hologram of the, 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 the combined uh, elemental creatures. Um, they have to fight in the. Uh, And Mysterio's uh, illusions. And for some reason, they call this body sense the the Peter Tingle. I know it's looking a joke, but I don't know if it's worth it. And then there's that two f uh, fake out, well, one fake out scene where it looks like a uh, Mysterio's dad was only an illusion. And for some reason, he says this illusion set. Uh, it's not going to trick him anymore, but then when he's, act when he's actually dying, he uh, I'll say, hidden uh, if it is. I don't know, and at the end, Peter and MJ are dating, and they just confirm it's uh, happy and, and about them dating, and he and MJ just they take a swing literally around New York. And the mid-credit scene has to be great because it shows uh, a video that was sent to the Daily Bugle from a uh, an anonymous source, and uh, mysteriously uh, altered the images, uh, making Spider look like the villain. And uh, Jay Jonah Jameson is in the movie, played by the same guy playing in the Sam Raimi movies as well. Um, Quentin Beck has revealed that uh, Spider-Man's secret identity. So I'll say next time Spider-Man is in that article of Gossip, and it'll be to be good. Maybe the third movie will be uh, great as well. I have to when see the repercussions of, of this. Uh, yeah, this is good. I think there's too much uh, comedy. In this, but I can't remember if there was much in the last one. But I do say, uh, well, I will say that it seems uh, similar to uh, Homecoming since in both Peter needs 
this to decide whether it's better to be a full time Spider Man or full time uh, Peter Parker. Um, the stuff uh, Happy is uh, was good, and Jerry gets uh, some laughs. And yeah, the serial being a villain was really that was a shock in the 90s uh, cartoon, and then uh, Dr. the Spectacular Spider Man, I think he was trying to be a hero with Hollywood technology, but at least he's not just uh, a guy that, that has a fistball for a mask. Yeah. Um, the the chemistry between Peter and the and they was kind of good, but I don't know if I actually believe that they're dating. But uh, I don't see what the horror movie what, or whatever movie their next is gonna be like. And um, that's just playing and they was kind of good seeing said uh, some of our faults and some of their characters say some of their faults as well when they're there when they am happy of being attacked <laughs> I gotta get fast Thompson in this a little bit <laughs> and uh, the guy up here who's uh, in a little library with Mary Dame over the kind of go when he's saying in the enemy's suspicious why yeah uh, here isn't they here and was like that and the teaser was a little bit weird but I don't know um, I don't know what the next uh, Marvel movie is for stage or phase four I think it was the, this is the first one but hopefully it's cool maybe it's a uh, the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie, or uh, Black Panther, or ant -Man. I'm just guessing here, but hopefully it's good. Anyway, next time, I'm going to see you guys later.